Good day, everyone. Today, I am going to discuss a new lesson about solving for the slope of a tangent line. Last time, we discussed the first method in solving for the slope of a tangent line, and it involves delta 4. This time, I'm going to uh, share to you or discuss the other method in solving for the slope of a tangent line. The slope of a line tangent to the graph of a function at a given point is defined by the limit definition of the slope, which is the limit of f of x minus f of a all over x minus a as x approaches to a where f of x is the given function, a is the x value of the given point, and f of a is the y value of the given point. Now, let's apply this formula in solving for the slope of the tangent line in the following given. For example, let's have example number one. Solve for the slope of the line tangent to the function x squared plus 1 at point 1, 2. Now, using the formula, limit definition of the slope f of x minus f of a all over x minus a as x approaches to a. What are we going to do first is to identify our a. Again, a is the x value of the given point. Our given point is 0.12 and the x value is 1. So therefore, we will have it the limit of the function as x approaches to 1. Next is to identify our f of x. f of x is the given function and the given function is x squared plus 1. Then minus f of a. f of a is the y value of the given point. And the y value of the given point is 2. So we will subtract it by 2. All over x minus, again, a is the x value of the given point, And that is 1. Next is we will simplify the numerator by combining 1 and negative 2. Or 1 minus 2. So 1 minus 2 becomes negative 1. Therefore, the numerator becomes x squared minus 1 all over x minus 1 as x approaches to 1. Now, if we will use direct substitution method, substituting 1 to the variable x, then the result would be 0 over 0. And it is in its indeterminate form. Therefore, the limit of the function still exists. So what are we going to do to solve for the correct limit is using factoring method. Now, we will factor out first the numerator. Our numerator is x squared minus 1. So if we will factor out x squared minus 1, the factors are as follows. x plus 1 times x minus 1. Then all over x minus 1, your denominator, as x approaches to 1. Then by that, we can cancel out x minus 1 from both the numerator and the denominator. And that will lead you to x plus 1 as your new function. So we will be taking the limit of the new function x plus 1 using x as or using 1 as the value of the variable x, so that will give you 1 plus 1, and the slope of the line tangent to the function is 2. Example number 2. Solve for the slope of the line tangent to the function 2x squared plus 3 at point 321. We will use the same formula, the limit definition of the slope, which is the limit of f of x, minus f of a all over x minus a as x approaches to a. Again, we will identify first the value of a. a is the x value of the given point. Our given point is 3, so therefore, we will replace all the a's by 3. 
that will give us the slope, which is equal to the limit of the function as x approaches the three. Next is to identify our f of x, which is the given function. And that is two x squared plus three. So then minus f of a is the y value of the given point that is 21 over x minus the x value of the given point, which is three, as x approaches to three. Next is to simplify the numerator by combining like terms. We can actually combine plus three or positive three minus 21, and that will give you negative 18 as the result. So the function will become two x squared minus 18 all over x minus three as x approaches to three. And if we will use direct substitution method using three as the value of x, it becomes zero over zero and it is in its indeterminate form. Therefore, the limit exists. So we will be using factoring method for us to solve for the correct limit. Now, the numerator is two x squared minus 18 we will factor it out by first factoring out the common. The common factor of 2x squared and 18 is actually 2. So factor out 2 and that will uh, bring you or give you x squared minus 9 as the terms inside the parentheses. Why? 2x squared, if you will factor out 2, what is left is x squared. That is why Nasha x squared. The negative 18, you will factor out the common factor, which is 2. So from negative 18, it will become negative 9. So the factor or the factors are 2 times x squared minus 9 all over the denominator x minus 3. And we all know that x squared minus 9 is still factorable. So we will factor out x squared minus 9 and the factors are as follows. So we have 2 times the factors of x squared minus 9. We have x plus 3 times x minus 3 all over x minus 3. By that, we can cancel out x minus 3 and that will lead you to our new function, which is 2 times x plus 3. Using direct substitution method, 3 as the value of the variable x, we have 2 times the quantity of 3 plus 3. Using PEMDAS rule, we will evaluate the terms inside the parentheses. So we have 3 plus 3, that will give you 6 times 2. Then the slope of the line tangent to the function is 12. Now this time, let's have the equation of a tangent line. So the equation of a tangent line, we will be using um, three different forms. We have the point slope form. We can use the point slope form if we have the given point and a given slope. The point slope form is in the form y is equals to m times x minus x sub one plus y sub one, where m is the slope x sub 1 is the x value of the given point and y sub 1 is the y value of the given point. We also have slope intercept form. So the slope intercept form, you have to have the slope and of course the intercept. It is in the form y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope and b is the intercept. And last, we have general form. So the general form of an equation is always equated to zero. Now, since we are talking about a tangent line, it is a line, therefore the degree of the uh, equation is one, meaning the highest exponent of the variable is one. So the general form of a tangent line is in the form ax plus by plus c, is equals to zero. So we will be using the different forms of equations in solving for the equation of a tangent line. Now, let's have example number three. Give the correct equation of the line 
tangent to the function x squared plus 1 at point 1, 2. This is, the exam this is our example number 1. And we all know that the slope is equals to 2. You can check example number 1 for reference. So the goal is to solve for the correct equation of the line. So we will start with the point slope 4. Why? Because we already have the given slope and the given point. So we can use the point slope 4. The formula is y is equals to m times the quantity of x minus x sub 1 plus y sub 1. We have m, which is 2, x sub 1, which is 1, and y sub 1, which is 2. So substituting it to the formula, that will give you y is equals to 2 times the quantity of x minus 1 plus 2. So this is the point slope form of the equation of the tangent line. Next, let's have the slope intercept form. So the slope intercept form can be used if you already have the point slope form of the equation. So what are we going to do is to transform the point slope form of the equation to slope intercept form. So we will be using y is equals to 2 times the quantity of x minus 1 plus 2. We will transform it to slope intercept form or y equals mx plus b4. So what are we going to do is to distribute 2 to x minus 1. And that will give you y is equals to 2x minus 2 then plus 1. So that's 2 times x, 2x, then 2 times negative 1, negative 2, then copy plus 2. For further simplification, you will give an, an equation which is y equals 2x. So this is the slope intercept form of the tangent line. And last, we have the general form. The general form, all you have to do is to equate all the terms of the equation to zero. So we will be using the equation in slope intercept form, which is y equals 2x. And we will equate it to zero by transposing the terms on the right side. 2x will transform it to the left side. So 2x will become negative 2x then plus y is equals to zero. Always remember you have to arrange the terms correctly. So we will start with x followed by y and then equate it to zero. Now, since the coefficient of the variable x is negative, so what are we going to do is we will multiply all the terms by negative one to eradicate the negative symbol. So by multiplying negative 1 to negative 2x, it will give you positive 2x. Then negative 1 times y, it will give you negative y. Then is equals to negative 1 times 0, you get 0. So the general form of the equation of the tangent line is 2x minus y equals 0. And let's have our last example. Example number 4. Give the correct equation of the line tangent to the function 2x squared plus 3 at point 321. Again, this is the example, same example in example number 2. So the slope for example number 2 is actually 12. So we will be using 12 as the slope in order for us to get the equation of the tangent line. So let's start with the point slope form. Again, we already have the slope and we have the given point. So we will substitute from the formula y equals m times x minus x sub 1 plus y sub 1. We have m, which is 12, x sub 1, which is 3, and y sub 1, which is 21. So that will give you y is equals to 12 times x minus 3 plus 21. That's your point slope form. And for the slope intercept form, we will be using the equation in point slope form and transform it to slope intercept form. So again, the process is we will distribute 12 
to the terms inside the parentheses. So 12 times x, then 12 times negative 3. And that will give you 12x minus 36, then copy plus 21. Combining negative 36 and 21, that will give you y is equals to 12x minus 15. So this is the slope intercept form of the tangent line. And last, we have the general form of the equation. Again, we will be using the equation in slope intercept form, which is y equals 12x minus 15. We will transpose all the terms here in the right side of the equation, transfer it to the left side and equate it to zero. Always change the sign. From 12x, it will become negative 12x. Do not forget to arrange. We have plus y. Then from negative 15, it becomes positive 15. Then equals to zero. And again, the coefficient of the variable x is negative. So to eradicate the negative sign, we will multiply all the terms by negative 1. And multiplying negative 1 to all the terms, that will give you a general form of the equation 12x minus y minus 15 is equals to 0. So thank you. That's it for the presentation for today. May the odds be ever in your favor.